In this video, I'm going to take you through the portfolio tracker and liquidity investment tool, Sapper.fi. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share it before that others might benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everbithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. The world of DeFi can be pretty confusing, especially without any technical knowledge about Ethereum or how the various protocols that make up DeFi work. However, Zappa helps resolve this by bringing simplicity to investing in liquidity pools and doubling up as a portfolio tracker. Born out of a hackathon in 2019, Zappa has grown to become a hub of activity for DeFi investors. Zappa was conceived when DeFi Zap and DeFi Snap merged, and this brought the ability to zap in and out of liquidity pools to the same platform as one of the space's most admired portfolio analytics tools. Plus, more recently, thanks to investment from the Meta Cartel community, Zappa now has access to some of the most progressive minds in crypto. Now, one thing to mention is that Zappa is a DeFi product and not a protocol, and this means that it cannot be decentralized, even though it's completely non-custodial. The core premise of Zappa is allowing DeFi users to enter and exit a liquidity pool with one click. Using Zappa, users can seamlessly zap in or zap out of a liquidity pool on Uniswap, Curve Finance and Balancer. Plus, there's also the dashboard, which is also used by those who interact directly with liquidity pools. With block explorers, they only display and address as transactions, whereas others, like Etherscan, take this a step further by showing users holdings. But Zappa's dashboard tracks each address and breaks it up into activity into six categories. Wallet holdings, investments, liquidity pools debt, yield farming and deposits. And this makes it far easier to navigate your portfolio and it's augmented by an allocation table that shows a user how much money they have in each category as a percentage of their total. So not only does it help users track their holdings, but it also allows them to quickly react into new insights. Zappa also added functionality by allowing users to act on incentivized pools without leaving the platform. And it converts your Ethereum or ERC20 tokens into the necessary tokens for each pool saving users from having to convert their holdings first. Plus, it helps you to save on the ever-increasing gas fees. So unless you're already holding the required tokens to provide liquidity to a pool, Zappa is a smoother and more cost-friendly choice. So let's take a look at Zappa now, and I'll pop a link in the summary below to their site, so just be careful of phishing sites. And what you'll need to do to get started is have your Ethereum wallet ready, and you can connect to the likes of Metamask, Ledger, Trezor, Wallet Link, and Wallet Connect. And I've got full tutorials of the majority of these. So if you'd like to find out more, then please feel free to look through the series of my videos. Or alternatively, you can enter an address into this section. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a demo address today. And once you're connected, you'll be presented with your dashboard. And you'll see an account overview which includes what you have in terms of liquidity pools, deposits, yield farming, investments, and debt. You then have your assets across different platforms, which cover the most popular DeFi platforms, such as Uniswap, Aave, Compound, DYDX, and Synthetix, all of which I've covered tutorials for recently. Then you have your breakdown of your asset allocation versus where your assets are, according to what platform they're on. So this dashboard is brilliant especially if you're currently investing and getting involved in a lot of DeFi protocols like me. And it really helps you to track where your assets currently are. Plus, if we switch view here, you'll then see a breakdown of all your assets, which is really handy so that you know where each asset is stored. So let's take a look under invest. So this is where you can start zapping and finding all the liquidity providing opportunities. And it will show you any current investments at the top here. And you can use Zappa to withdraw. And depending on the type of investments that you have, you can also claim rewards, unstake, or add to these two from here. 
So what Zappa does is that it brings all these in together in one place so that you can add liquidity to earn fees, incentives and voting rights. And there's a lot of opportunities available. As you can see, there's currently 33 pages with 10 per page, meaning there's about 330 liquidity opportunities on the site right now. And it shows you the most popular pools, which you can sort by liquidity, net ROI, etc. So it really saves you having to find all the various sites required to provide liquidity. And it saves you from having to exchange your tokens to the correct ones too. Now, one of the most important things to edit on the site is the slippage percentage, which is the most that you're willing to accept due to price changes. And you'll want to go and check whether or not you're happy with the defaults that are set in the system, which you can do by clicking onto the settings icon at the top here. So you can change the slippage tolerance to 2 or 3%, or you can customise this too. Plus, you can also set your gas settings in here too, or change the theme to dark, if you'd prefer. And you can also customise the slippage and gas on a transaction by transaction basis, which I'm going to show you shortly, but this just helps with setting a default. So to get started adding liquidity, you just need to take a look through the available pools. So let's take a look at an example now. Now say for example you've got some ETH in your wallet, but you want to provide liquidity to Balance's 50-50 allocation USD to MUSD pool. So instead of having to convert half of your ETH to USDC and the other half to MUSD, you can use Zappa.fi to simplify the process. So if you wanted to deposit 0.2 ETH into the pool, Zappa kicks in and it splits the ETH into 50% of USDC and 50% of MUSD. It then deposits the tokens into the balancer pool from your address and the balancer pool tokens are credited to the same address. So to perform this operation, you've only needed to pay one gas fee here. And without Zappa FI, this would have cost a lot more in fees. And I previously created a tutorial and participated in Ample Force Geyser and provided liquidity by Uniswap. So as an example, I'll just show you the difference between this and doing this directly with Uniswap. So if I type in AMPL at the top here, You'll then automatically see the ETH Ample pool show up. So if we click on to add liquidity, in here you can see the accepted ERC20 tokens from the drop down. So instead of having to convert your tokens first to AMPL and then add liquidity, you can do that using the ETH that you may already have inside your wallet. And again, this way just simplifies things and saves you on the gas fees, which are especially high at the moment. And again, you can change those gas fees from here, from fast, standard or instant, and use it in conjunction with ETH gas station. Then once you've provided liquidity, all you then need to do is deposit your reward tokens into the geyser. Now next up, let's take a look at Explore. So under Explore, you have how your money is allocated in certain applications. So in this example, I'm just going to choose Synthetics, which is a platform that I've most recently reviewed. And in here, you can see your collateral. You can see your synth date and rate. Then you'll have your synths, along with the balances and ratios, plus minter information for staking and the estimated weekly staking rewards. And it will show you similar information under the other platforms too, such as Compound and Pull Together. Then finally, under Transactions, in here, you can view all your transactions in one place. So similar to the likes of tools such as Etherscan, it shows you all your transactions. Plus, you can search for specific transactions depending on the protocol, token, or event, etc. So that completes how you can track your portfolio and easily invest in liquidity pool opportunities. I think this is a great platform, especially if you've made a lot of investments and using a lot of DeFi protocols as it really helps you to keep a track of where your assets are kept. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.